Continental Baths was a, well, it was a bathhouse and slash entertainment complex. And I guess I should talk about it a little bit because at this, it's been gone for so long there's a lot of people who probably wouldn't remember what it was. Um, a number of different people got their start there. Bette Midler, Barry Manilow was her piano accompanist. Um, LaBelle, Patti LaBelle, they got their start there. It was um, a bathhouse. Huh? It was a bathhouse. It was a bathhouse and it had entertainment on the weekends on Saturdays. So all these people would come in there and they would perform on Saturday night in front of an audience full of guys sitting in towels. But it was, I mean, it was a, it, it was a full on complex. I mean, it, it was probably one of the first of its kind because it, um, it wasn't just a bathhouse. It, it, you know, it had a, a full Nautilus room and, you know, and so on and an Olympic swimming pool and it had a, you know, it had a boutique in it, it had a bar, a restaurant, which is something that was just completely unheard of in those days, and it had the disco, it had the club. In the West Village? No, this was in, this was on the Upper West Side, this was on 70, 74th Street, between Broadway and West End, in the Ansonia Hotel. Yeah, exactly, in the historic Ansonia Hotel. So, um, anyhow, but all these people would would come there and perform on Saturday night. There was one Saturday night that uh, Mick Jagger came in to watch the show, you know, and he wanted to sit in his, at first he wanted to just sit in his clothes and watch the show, but they told him he couldn't. He had to get in a towel. Yeah. I think he got chased around there. <laughs> but there was a lot of people, it was a wide spectrum of people that performed there. Beverly Sills, you know, she performed there. You know, I mean, people from, you know, from opera, everything. It was, it was, on Saturday night, every yeah, Saturday night. That was, my, that was my first real gig, yeah. 1972, 72, and I was there for, I was there until they closed in like um, 76, 76, yeah, 77. It, you know, it, in the beginning it, it was fascinating to me, and I mean, I was afraid to go to that place because I had heard all kinds of stories about bathhouses, and I didn't want to go anywhere near it. But Larry had already been working there for like about a year, and he had asked me to come and play on Mondays and Tuesdays. You know, so I figured, okay, well, this is a golden opportunity for me to really try and hone my skills, I guess, a little bit, or try and concentrate on the music and build my record collection and this, that, and the other. And now, you know, I didn't take it serious at all. I just thought, you know, this could be a lot of fun. You know, I was still in high school. I can make some money. You know, uh, I don't have to work during the day, that kind of thing. And um, just playing around with all kinds of music and stuff like that, you know. I mean, you got people walking around, and sometimes you have people that will come and just sit on the dance floor, or sit directly across from the dance floor, because right across from the dance floor was an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and there were benches around there. And sometimes, you know, and there was a huge aquarium that was right to the side of it. I'll tell you a funny story about that aquarium in a minute. But sometimes, you know, a couple of guys would come and they would just sit on the bench and they would just listen. And so I could play anything from classical, you know, or, you know, uh, you know, or jazz or anything. I could play some of anything. I can go anywhere I wanted to, you know, musically and stuff like that. And that was perfect for me. So when the club finally did begin to take off and stuff like that, like maybe a year or so after, after that, um, one night, I mean, the club is packed. One night, somebody dropped four tabs of LSD-25 in the fish tank. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about an aquarium about the size of this wall, or half the size of this wall. You know what I mean? And to watch the fish jump out of this tank, you know, and people running around trying to pick them up and put them back in there. Yeah, they did. But it was funny to watch. You know, I mean, fish are jumping out. They're trying to put them back in the fish tank. Some of them, some people are just taking them and throwing them in the pool because the pool is right there. 